Hi guys, so I want to show you how I raised uh, my exhaust pipe. Uh, I had a broken hanger and it was, uh, it was a broken weld actually. So I uh, got an estimate for that, it was like a hundred bucks. And so I'm like, well, you know what? Let me see if I can fix it by myself before I pay that. So uh, let me show you what I've done here. It's gonna be a lot of narration here the video um okay uh so what happened was um it broke right here as you can let me show you a picture of that you can see where it broke the weld broke all right so uh like i said i wasn't able to weld that so uh let me show you what uh what was going on okay so Right here is where the old hanger was at. Right in here. Okay, I took that out. Now that is part of the uh, support for the transmission. Okay, and that is held up by this uh, subframe here. Okay, so. I was trying to find a place to raise the pipe here that I could hang, um, you know, a U-bolt and hang it to. And there is no place to do that. Really couldn't use, you know, the same hanger uh, hole because the pipe is just parallel to the, you know, to the hole. There's not, it's not above it or it's not even a... Um, you know, it's beside it. So, uh, what I did was I got some rebar, as you can see here. And let me show you what I did in the vise. You know, put it in the vise here. Um, started out with about uh, a piece of about 48 inches and just bent it and bent it. Continued to bend it, actually bent it in the jaw jaws of the vise to get where I needed to be at. Uh, really never got it to where I wanted it to exactly be, and I'll show you guys uh, where, where it's at now, and how it's working, and how it could work, and another way you could do this. Okay, uh, so when I got the bend that I liked, it came in from the other side, over here, and put it in. Okay, slipped it in. From there. Alright, so back here again. So it came in here, and what I uh, wanted was one piece. Um, I didn't want the piece to fall off on the roadside, on the roadway, and you know, become a projectile. Uh, so I wanted some, you know, it to be secure. So this is secure. Okay, and what happens is the top piece rides upon this lip here of the support. Uh, the lip goes out about oh, another inch and a half, I guess. Okay, and so the top of that bar rides off, rides on the, er, on the top of this lip. And with that hanging off above the exhaust pipe, I'm able to use these U-bolt clamps. Um, I could have used one if I found one long enough to just wrap around, but I wasn't able to do that, so I had to use uh, two in conjunction here and just tighten it down. Tightening it down actually uh, ends up, uh, when you tighten it, it actually raises the pipe off of that subframe where it was hitting right here. So I've got good clearance now. Um, it's been working out for about a month now for me. I'm very happy with it. The only thing I wish I could have done better is made this bend so that uh, it doesn't actually just come here and stop like on about an inch of this edge here. I wished it would have rode out that whole ledge. Uh, let me see if I can zoom that in for you. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. 
but that whole ledge, if I could have got that pipe, bent that pipe down, it would have just rode out the whole top of that support. And that would have been uh, probably more of an advantage as far as the weight distribution of this. Um, but uh, it's working out okay the way it is right now. I'm hoping it'll last. Now, uh, let me show you what I've got here. I'm using a piece of old shoe here. You can see where I just cut an old uh, shoe that I didn't need any more away, used the sole part of it. This has been working out really, really well also. All right, so if you don't want to go through all the bends, you don't have a vise, you could take just one piece of rebar, uh, a flat piece, and lay it like I was talking about, about before, right uh, right onto this ledge here, support ledge, and then take you a U-bolt, wrap it around the top of that uh, rebar end, clamp that, and then back on the other side, let me take you back there again, you could have the rebar, the other end of the rebar coming out there and just take a clamp on this end and just clamp you know both ends so you're basically clamping both ends and it's um it's holding it in place sorry about the camera movement here oh it's cramped under here uh so that's another option you know if you don't want to go through all the bends but in that uh if you do that you know you're gonna just hope that the clamp keeps it on here and remember you know it's it's not exactly above it, so it's going to be pulling it. I'll actually be pulling that uh, away a little bit, so uh, you may have to find some way using cable or something to kind of support that loose piece before you clamp it. Anyway, guys, I know it's a lot of uh, a lot of talk here, so uh, hope you guys can kind of get the gist of what this uh, is uh, doing here and how it can work. It's been working for me, so if you can't weld, uh, you know, your, your, your hanger here that is broken, and I'm pretty sure this is an original setup for this Jeep. If you can't weld it, this is an option. I um, hope it will work out for you guys. Thanks for watching the video, and until next time, everyone has a great day out there. Take care.